Hello everybody and welcome back to Insights in Automation. We have been working our way through the various starter kits available for those looking to get into working with Arduinos and doing our best to compare them to the official kit available on the Arduino website. We picked out three we thought were good variety based on value, and today we'll be looking at the most popular Arduino kit on Amazon, the Elegoo R3 Most Complete Starter Kit. You can find the kit online for around $55, depending on the day and the discount. And let me tell you, with everything you get in this kit, you won't turn your nose up at that price. Let's go ahead and get into the kit. As you can see, it arrived in this bubble wrap packaging with custom Elegoo print. Whenever I see a company go the extra mile with its packaging, it lets me know they invested a bit more into its appearance. At least, that's what I thought until I opened it up and saw the kit itself. As you can see, we have a big plastic container not dissimilar to our previous two kits, although this one is much larger. I was rather disappointed with the presentation of the kit's title sleeve. This font looks like something an elementary school teacher would put on a corkboard poster, not necessarily something you'd expect from a tech company's premier Arduino kit. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. On top is our component list, and the first thing you'll notice is the Elegoo disk, with the projects and code inside. Odd choice considering how rare disk drives are on modern PCs, but the Arduino has been around for a while, and this kit might just be a little long in the tooth. Here we have a propeller, an RFID keycard and keychain, a prototype expansion module, the Uno R3 itself, a ribbon cable keypad, our pack of resistors, a larger breadboard, which we'll need every inch of for some of the kits in this project, here we have a separate container for all our capacitors, transistors, and LEDs, a GY521 module, a stepper motor driver, a PIR motion sensor, a rotary encoder module, a water level detection sensor, a multi-purpose remote, a 16-character LCD, a 9-volt battery, a simple DC motor, a joystick module, an RTC module, a servo motor, a power supply module, a sound sensor, a temperature and humidity module, a wall outlet power supply, a single digit seven segment display, a nine volt relay, a four digit seven segment display, an ultrasonic sensor, a 9-volt battery power adapter,
a bundle of mixed length jumper cables, a ribbon of male to female jumper cables, a stepper motor, and a comically short Type B to Type A cable. Now, let's take a look at Elegoo's custom Uno R3. As you can see, it's a dark blue PCB, easily distinguishable from the Arduino's greenish blue board, a Type B port, as standard, and an AC adapter. With the contents summarized, let's go ahead and show off some of the projects from this kit. The majority of the projects are those included in either the official starter kit or ones I've shown off in a previous kit review, so I'll only be displaying two of the unique projects from this kit. If you'd like to see more projects, make sure to check out our other videos on the other Arduino starter kits. First, we have a simple RGB LED cycling through its color array. And next, we have a program that cycles through a series of LEDs. The kit itself offered a handful of projects, most of which were duplicates of programs we ran in previous videos. So for our third demonstration, I ventured online and found a public tutorial that featured both the servo motor and the ultrasonic module to create a sonar that scans back and forth. Here you can see it detecting both my hand and my individual fingers. Pretty cool. So, having looked over this kit, and having already gone through the others that we demonstrated in our previous videos, I can confidently say that this kit is the perfect middle ground for a maker looking to get their hands dirty, playing around with an Arduino. Unlike the cheaper kit, you get tons of modules to play around with, making a whole litany of special projects that you couldn't otherwise. The more expensive Uno R4 kit from Sunfounder has almost all the same pieces of kit, but since it comes with an official Arduino R4, the price is much, much higher, at almost $100. For about half that, you can get all the same modules and jumpers and whatnot, with the only downgrade being the Uno R3, which is a bit slower, uses Type-B instead of Type-C, and lacks the LED array. So no playing snake for us. Overall, I think for those who are looking for a kit with a ton of potential for future projects, are going to want to give this one a look. If you just want something basic, I'd stick with the cheaper kit. But with everything you get here, you can't go wrong spending a bit more for this haul of components. Make sure to check out my other reviews, and subscribe to catch our next videos on the Arduino and its applications and automation. As always, thanks for watching Insights in Automation.